okay so um, hey guys we're gonna look into some mixing and mastering today i know it's been very long since i did it like a tutorial and stuff and um, i've kind of done a similar tutorial on um, how to mix instruments like mastering instrument stuff which has gained over 30,000 views now and uh, thanks for that i'm glad you guys enjoyed that video this is somewhat similar to that but we're gonna be looking into how we mix um three di different sounds which have different frequencies which which basically complete all the three frequencies in a song which is the low mid and high and um i think a lot of people have asked me this about um how i get my quality good whereas i still think that my quality isn't that great and um I'm going to explain to them how I go about it and it's basically about how you mix everything so I'm not going to be talking about mastering as much as mixing but um, yeah no basically by that I mean that um, if your mixing is good the mastering won't require too much effort and many people think that the mastering is like the last thing and that would just make your song everything but actually it's the mixing which comes into importance before the mastering and to tell you the truth i i actually barely master my songs i do master them but i don't put too much effort into it because um, if your mixing is good then the mastering won't be as hard so let's get to this um i've got some melodies here i've got two melodies uh, one is here one is here and we're gonna look into both of them and um we'll look at different frequencies and how I mastered each of them so that they mix with each other properly. I'll make adjustments in between and show you exactly what I'm doing. So we have a simple kick here and a clap, uh, some hi-hat and some right. So then we've got some bass. I haven't put much time into these melodies. This is just to show you exactly the frequencies. Uh, this you can say is just about the mid, although it's more towards the bass, but you have I've made the frequencies as such so that it fits the mid. I hope the volume's good enough. And um, there's the high. Now I've done this so that you know even beginners can see it so I've not used any plugins from like um, any, any external third party plugins. I've used all FL Studio plugins so that you can see exactly uh, what I'm doing including out here I've, I've only used FL Studio plugins. There's uh, nothing else. So yeah. <clears throat> so first we start off with a bass and let's see how, um, how this sounds. Now you might have to put headphones to listen to this because obviously it's bass. Um, so firstly I've got a side chain here basically. We'll remove that for now. And I've just put a sound goodizer and put that much which is good enough. If you, you can put more of it if you like but that it's not really required for bass. Mainly for the mid and the high you can add more of this. And uh, basically for this I've only added this and I've reduced this till about. You can this depends really if the bass is like not giving too much high already don't really need to do that in any case but uh, make sure you do this other step which is remove these frequencies i prefer this one because it removes more out here but basically these are the frequencies which will be unheard um, and sometimes they just clutter your mix and you might find it later on while you're listening to it on like big speakers or something you realize that these sounds are somewhat make, like messing around with other sounds in the song so yeah basically you can use this one and um, yeah so that's basically about like somewhat mastering one sound altogether and this is just about bass so so three things that you can do here is the sound goodizer the pro speed which is the side chain in any case and the parametric eq that's it and 
now the basic idea is to listen more than anything else you have to match all three of them at such a level that they sound nice not and one element shouldn't be like higher than the others that's what compression usually does but in this case i'm going to show you in a simple way so that people who are just starting off don't find this too intimidating so that's about the base now let's go to, go on to the mid um out here also three simple plugins and and the same as the base plugins out here also I've added the crow speed uh, the sound realizer and the parametric eq in this i've removed all the high and the low and i've only got the mid which is boosted so out here you only hear the mid although there is some high but not enough for it to like subside this and this is the high now and i'm going to show you how to mix all three of the volume levels so that they all sound right at the moment they're already like all the same but let's see what it's like later on once you mix all three of them so for the high i've i've had i've added some effects also on top of it that's why you hear the delay and stuff but basically out here we have a sound realizer and equalizer in this i've removed all the bass sound i've left some of the mid because this actually puts more mid into it also and i've increased the high this is optional it depends on what kind of sound you're using and in this sound i thought it was good enough to increase that i've added some reverb to it simple reverb and i've compressed it so that if any volume level is going beyond a certain level it will come down to the same level and then still get boosted up that's what a compressor basically does so you set a threshold and every time that uh, every time the sound crosses that a decibel level it will limit it and then in that every time it crosses it by this ratio it will gain that much volume that's basically what it is i've just said very vaguely but yeah these are the three main knobs this is basically how much time it takes to actually compress the sound and this is when it releases the sound the compression when it stops compressing and um this i i seriously don't know much about this but i guess it's the way the compression moves in terms of being um, applied to the sound so i've got a compressor on there and i've got a side chain also and i've got a delay but i'm not using the delay i'm using the harmer delay in this case so let's hear all three of them together now so that you can basically see what's happening now you may have a preference of increasing the high tones more than the low than the low bass tones and the mid tones that's based on your judgment but as per making a sound sound very full you should have all three of these elements at equal levels so that the person who listens to it will basically actually catch hold of the mid tones and the high tones and bass also which is very important so we're going to add the kick here and i've got nothing on the kick so nothing on any of the instruments if you want to see mastering on these instruments i've made another video i'll i put the link down here below and um you can click on that and check that out later if you like um so let's hear this with the kick also So um this is like a basic module of what all three of the high uh, all three of the frequencies would sound like together and I've added another melody so you can just basically see as it progresses how it makes a difference to each and every element which you've just mastered separately it, you can see it's mastered separately as you go along so that but it's technically like mixing all all the sounds together properly So 
we've got a basic idea of all three of the frequencies now and that's basically it about um, how to mix all three of these sounds and you have to just listen very carefully if you listen carefully you can actually do a lot more and i think a lot of people worry about how their songs are mastered and it is important i do worry about it myself also when i master songs and um and to, to, to tell you the truth i'm not really good at mastering i i just do whatever sounds good to me and somehow it just sounds fine but i'm never satisfied with how i master because there's always some frequency which goes beyond some point and then you kind of forget it but if your mixing is good then later on you won't have to worry about the mastering so in my recent songs which i've been doing i i have i've actually focused more on the mixing than the mastering and uh, that really helps when i export my songs i realize that the mastering is not really that much key element to it as people think it is and uh, mixing is a very important point so that so that you can get on to mastering and yeah that's about it for this video and for all the people who were confused about how to get sound quality this is one of the number one things about sound quality I'll try and make other videos in April about uh, mastering and stuff. Once I learn it completely myself, even I'm still learning how to master properly. I've been focusing more on the melodies and um, and progressions and the and how I make music at first, and then I go on to mastering. So in April, I'll probably try and make some mastering videos. But till then, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial about how how to mix three different frequencies together properly so that it sounds um, level and not one above the other and removing additional frequencies which I showed you here. This is really important because it does show up later on in your songs. So just remember doing it. I know it's kind of pissing off to actually add this unnecessarily but do it and it's not that hard either. So thanks for watching and Subscribe to the channel, we'll find more videos coming up soon and um, I'll be releasing some songs. I think I might release a song by the end of this year and hopefully I do. So subscribe and comment, like, 